Okay, we're still in chapter 3, specifically chapter 3.1. Uh, this is second video in that section. We're beginning with the section on polymers and monomers. So, what we need to look at now is the idea of how these organic molecules are built up and broken down. And we need to be thoroughly familiar with these terms polymers, monomers, and then hydrolysis and condensation reaction. So, polymers and monomers. Mono means one. So, a monomer is a single unit. It is a small, simple organic molecule. It's going to serve as the basic building block for larger, more complex organic molecules. And in nature, there are about 40 different monomers that are used to build all these different organic molecules that we see across the whole spectrum of nature. Now, <clears throat> at first you'd think, well, 40 different monomers, that doesn't sound like enough uh, variety, enough building blocks there to make all the variety that we see in nature. But then think about how many letters are in the English, English alphabet. How many words can you make from those 26 letters? So, 40 building blocks is more than enough to give you all almost infinite level of variety. Now, out of those 40 monomers, about half of those, 20 of those, are the amino acids that are used to build, that are used to build proteins. And because of this, when we get in the section on proteins, we'll see that proteins have a high degree of diversity. They're much more diverse than uh, what we have. There's much more diversity in the proteins than what we have in uh, the other categories of organic compounds. Now, the other term besides polymer, I mean besides monomer, is polymer. And poly means many, and a polymer is this long chain or network of monomers. Okay? Now then, we've got the words hydrolysis and condensation reaction. The term hydrolysis, hydro is water, lysis means to split or to break down or to destroy. So hydrolysis or hydrolysis is a process where polymers are broken down to form monomers. And this is done by uh, inserting water into the polymer and splitting the polymer. Okay, the condensation reaction is process is a building up process. It's a process uh, where monomers are assembled into polymers, and every time two monomers bond together, it forms a larger, more complex organic molecule, and it also forms a water molecule. Thus, the name condensation reaction. If we have condensation forming on a window we have the formation of water on that window. Now, notice also that um, generally in nature we don't get a buildup of complexity happening on its own. So this uh, condensation reaction or this buildup of the polymers, buildup of complexity, will generally require an input of energy from the cells. Okay, so let's look at this in uh, diagram form. So here's the condensation reaction, and each of these little boxes right here represents a monomer, a small, simple organic molecule, maybe a glucose sugar that's uh, used to build starch, maybe that's an amino acid used to build protein, maybe it's component parts of fat. But on this small, simple, molecule, organic molecule, the monomer, somewhere we're going to have a hydrogen, and then somewhere we're going to have this OH group. And in the process of condensation reaction, this bond will be broken, this bond is broken, we pull off the OH group and the hydrogen, and two hydrogens and an oxygen forms water. So condensation, we get the formation of water. Now with those two broken bonds right there. These two units can link together and we get the beginnings of our polymer. Not much of a polymer yet, only two units, but we're getting there. Okay, so once again we have another uh, monomer and same reaction, pull off the OH and hydrogen, 
form water and the polymer grows and instead of growing to three units it might grow to be 3,000 units in length. Okay. Hydrolysis. Again, hydrolysis. Water and a split. So we start with the polymer. Water is inserted. Breaks this bond. Also splits the water. And we split off one of these units as a monomer. Same process can be repeated. Split that uh, larger molecule down to its monomers. Okay, so hydrolysis is a breaking down process, condensation reaction, building up process. Okay, so let's look at uh, the use of these terms of monomer, polymer, hydrolysis, condensation in the form of, of a cycle. So, monomers and polymers are substances. So notice right up here, this would represent our monomers blank right there. This substance down here made up of four individual units which again could be 4,000 individual units making this one molecule that would be a polymer so we fill in the blank right here. Now condensation reaction and hydrolysis are processes. So let's look at this one. We Here we have a breaking down process and we are inserting water to break this polymer down to its monomers. So, on this blank right here, we would put hydrolysis, hydrolysis, the breaking down process. Over here, we have the building up process, which we're taking monomers and we're forming uh, polymers, or a polymer. And every time we link two of these monomers together, we're going to pull out a water molecule. So, we've got the formation of liquid water here. This is a condensation reaction, is what we put on this blank. Now, this, uh, the, using these terms, monomer, polymer, hydrolysis, condensation reaction, you will see on the test, you will very likely see this diagram right here. You should be able to apply those four terms to this diagram. Okay, this diagram is a good way to look at this idea of um, monomers, polymers, uh, hydrolysis, condensation reaction because we would sit down and consume starch. Starch is a polymer. Process of digestion is a hydrolytic process. We would break that starch down to glucose. We would absorb the glucose through the small intestines. Some of the glucose we would use immediately for energy, but some of it would be uh, used to produce glycogen, a polymer, which we would store for a few hours. Then we would break the glycogen down by hydrolysis to glucose, which could be used for cellular energy. Same thing, protein. We would consume protein in the form of a polymer. The process of hydrolysis would break this down to its amino acids in the process of digestion. These amino acids would be absorbed through the small intestines and would use the amino acids to form new human proteins. Okay? So there's a lot of examples where this cycle is a good way to look at this idea of monomers and polymers. Okay, the four major categories of organic compounds and organisms are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. We're going to go through uh, examples of each one of these. So, let's go ahead and stop this video at this point, and we'll pick up with carbohydrates in the next video.